Hello there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. I'm your host, and today we will read Pinkalicious Crazy Hair Day by Victoria Kahn. This book was published by HarperCollins Publishers in 2014. Pink, 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 rang my alarm clock. My pink bows went flying. I was already up. I'd been trying different hairstyles all morning. Mommy, mommy, I called. It's crazy hair day at school. My hair would be the craziest. I didn't see mommy in the kitchen. I opened the fridge. Get ready hair to be pinkified. Mommy once said lemon juice helps turn hair blonde. So I bet cranberry juice would help my hair turn pink. I poured a big glass of juice and leaned down to drip my hair in it. Pinkalicious, Mommy yelled. I froze. The ends of my hair touched the juice. Juice is for drinking. You may not put it in your hair. But I want to have pink hair, I said. I have another idea, Mommy said, so you won't be a bee magnet. Bees. Ugh. I haven't thought of that. Mommy bent two pipe cleaners and braided a pigtail around each one. My hair looked like it was floating. My braids are anti-gravity. As I leaped to the bus stop, I pretended I was an astronaut. I couldn't wait to show Rose. Finally, the bus came. I'm an astronaut in search of planet pink. I bounced in my space shoes, searching the galaxy for Rose. There she was. Uh Uh-oh. I felt like I was looking into a mirror. Oh, look, you guys are copycats, Tiffany said. Everyone laughed at us. I sat down next to my friend. Who cares what Tiffany thinks, I said. Rose smiled, but not a big smile. My braids felt droopy. At school, we all crowded into our classroom. Brittany had hair like a volcano. Sophia's hairdo was like a beehive. Molly sat next to me and Rose. Her hair was fluffed up like a puffy cloud. Mr. Pushkin had put up a huge poster. It said, History of Hair. It was hair hysterical. There were so many funny styles. Mr. Pushkin told us all about history through hairdos. When I looked at Tiffany's hair, I saw that it looked like a 1960s hippie hairdo. Alex had taped mutton chop sideburns onto his face. They were from the 1800s. Then I saw it. Right in the middle of the poster was a beautiful hairstyle worn by a queen. I had an idea. At recess, I yelled to Rose, follow me. We we ran to the edge of the field. There were pink and purple flowers everywhere. Rose helped me to make out my, take out my pipe cleaners and wind them into one big coil. We piled my hair all around it. We picked flowers and Rose stuck them all over my hair. She even let me borrow her necklace as as a finishing touch.
Do you want a new hairdo too? I asked Rose. I like my wacky hairstyle the way it is, Rose said. You look fantastic, just like a real queen. By the time we were done, it was time to go back inside. The whole class stared at us. I want to wear a necklace in my hair too, Kendra said. I wish I'd thought of using flowers, said Molly. In front of the whole class, Mr. Pushkin said, Great work, Rose and Pinkalicious. You two have made hair story come to life. It was time for the hair parade. We marched around the school. I stood tall like a queen and waved at to my royal subjects. The next morning when I got on the bus, I couldn't believe my eyes. All the girls had decorations in their hair. Rose had saved me a seat. Who are the copycats now? She said. Maybe every day can be crazy hair day, I said. Then no one would ever have a bad hair day. The End